Well, I reckon you came here expecting a story. A story about the highwaymen, or about noble cowboys, or even about riding horses into the sunset. I reckon you've come to the wrong person, boy. But I reckon I got something even better for you. I got a story about gunslingers, shootouts, deadlers, ringos, and bucks. But what you're about to hear, boy, is the greatest untold tale of the Wild West. This is a story about a posse. A group of indigenous folks who you're either with or against. A group of folk who will cut off your tongue for daring to lash out at them. A group of people with hearts black as night, but as golden as the wild west sky. This here is the greatest story to ever be told. I'm Buck Gator, and this is the story of the No Driscolls. Oh, help me! Shut up, you bitch! Just gotta have faith! Our story begins with me and my longtime fellow No Driscoll, Johnny Ringo. After breaking out of a prison in Guam, Ringo and I had to flee north of the border to escape the law. With no food, supplies, or home, Mr. Ringo and I did the only thing we've ever known how to do. Shoot. Steal and live. The days following our escape from Guarma were desperate times indeed. Mr. Ringo and I had to beat and rob, shoot and kill just to breathe another day. Things were beginning to look dark for what remained of the No Driscolls. Or so we thought. Days later, I would make my way to the post office just to see what I had missed. It was there that I was informed that a letter had just come in that day with my name on it. As it turns out, Mr. Ringo and I weren't all that was left at the No Driscolls, as we were soon to be reunited with an old friend. After receiving the letter, Ringo and I knew that we needed a way to get to sand and nick. Luckily, Ringo had been tipped off back in Blackwater. You have that information, boy. Give it to me now. I said, give it to me. Get the fuck out of my face. About the route of a train that would take us straight into the big city. We knew we couldn't steal us a train alone. But what little we had left, Ringo and I rode out. Hopes of recruiting some fellers into the No Driscolls to help us take the train and get to San Denis. We rode town to town, putting up recruitment posters, speaking to town folk about joining our cause, taking care of those who dare speak out against us. Dirty fucking old Driscoll! We made our cause known. But some towns were, well, Less than welcoming to the No Driscolls. Made our ways across the frontier for several days. Well, let me have a and several room nights. Board, taking what we needed. Oh, it up! When we needed it. See, we got one! Run! Come on, Timmy! <laughs> from whom we needed it from. It was tough times. God, I hate no secrets. Luckily, after several days of riding across the country, beating up fellas, oh, no. oh, getting beat up ourselves, 
the light of the great boy would shine upon us. So we seemed that we finally had some fellows interested in joining the Nurture School. Despite a couple of transgressions along the way, Ringo and I finally made it to San Denis. Now it ain't no secret that Ringo and I ain't no city folk by a wide mile. Not a fucking way. We'd have to keep our composure, as our contact preferred to keep a low profile around these parts. <laughs> While it took a bit of searching, we knew exactly where to find him. And that we did. Come along, Ringo. He said he'd be around these parts. I'm gonna grab us a drink. You go ahead. Make sure mine is ice cold. You got a damn <sighs> said he'd be here. Where the hell is he? Ringo, you <laughs> Ringo! Ringo! Son of a bitch! You fucked with the wrong no Driscoll, you son of a bitch! Come out with your hands above your head! Oh. Ringo! Can you hear me, boy? Where are you at? What the fuck? You son of a bitch! I ain't messing with no mind games! You come out here, hands where I can- ah! Damn it, I didn't sign up for this. Wait, wait, I'm not the necrophiliac you think I am, okay? I love me only a cold one on Friday nights. That's the thing, okay? Ain't can a man just have his pleasures and enjoy himself on the weekends? I swear I'm- who the fuck is this? Listen here, mister. It ain't my fucking fault that a man... Well, what do we have here? I didn't mean it. I mean nothing but... Oh! Howdy there, Mr. Gators. Mr. Ivel. What are you doing at Santa me? I reckon I knew it was gonna be you. Of course it was gonna be me. Didn't you get my letter? We got a score to settle. Hell yeah, brother. What? Who the fuck is this? This here's Diddles. I found him up in the, uh, the mountains. He was raised by bears. Well, why you been tying us up then? Ringo, hey there, feller. I didn't see you there. Hey, well, I uh, didn't reckon I could trust no man who wears a red top hat around these parts. But I guess I'll have Diddles let you go. You're still on about that? Of course I'm still doing that. That red top hat killed my wife. That was ten it years my ago. Wife, it killed my will to live. You don't know how it is. Oh, I know how it is. I see red every night. I He's going to have his car about the red hat. Are you some bitch? Don't you shove me. Oh, don't you put him in Wait! 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 Oh, shit! Get him! 
diddle. It's like the old times. I'll put my fucking foot down your throat. You want to go? You put the Fellers, let's ride! Just like that, the No Driscolls were reformed. With the original No Driscolls now reunited, we set out to find a way to Tahiti. We didn't have a plan, but we sure as hell didn't need one. We traveled south and see where the light of the great boy would guide us. First, we'd have to find our way out of sand to need. Previously, on the No Driscolls. Howdy there, Mr. Gators. Mr. I. Uh, Is you O Driscolls? Well, Is like you No Driscolls? Oh, the the O Driscolls, those <laughs> sons of bitches, get them! It's like Undead Nightmare on repeat. <laughs> Cousin fucking scum living <laughs> son of bitch, stay dead. We'll be in the saloon. Come in, nothing in your hands. We can be civil about it. We get a boat, and we all sail to Tahiti. Come on, fellas! Set sail! Now, purple, you stay away from the di Hey, choking the diddle! Take him down! Hold oh, that on the ship! Oh, careful! Diddles! Diddles! Son of a bitch! Despite being betrayed by our unruly crewmates, no Driscoll's reassembled back in Blackwater and went forward with the plan to set out to town. Like all good things, our time with him came to an end. For Tahiti had called to Ivo, and it was time to say goodbye. Man, always has been, always will be. This ain't goodbye forever, it's only goodbye for now, because I know one day, 